Winning to me means everything. I don't strap up to lose. People who really know me uh, would describe me as a soft-spoken, playful person, um, you know, who loves to play around a lot. But you know, on the football field, it allows me to be a different person. Uh, you know, occasionally I hear people describe me as a monster on the field, and you know, you're out there and you're, you're battling, and you're fighting every play. So, you know, and, and it's it's really fun, you know, to beat the guy in front of you. What I'm excited about is Zita Bea, the 345-pound nose tackle from Washington. I mean, this guy was a running back in high school. He covered punts at Washington at 340 pounds. At Washington front, Vita Vea in again. He has been ubiquitous tonight. The big fella all over the field. I play football, you know, for a lot of reasons, you know, but I'd have to say the biggest reason was uh, for myself. And I wasn't playing because I love the sport, then I wouldn't be here. My biggest goal is to be the best me I could be, um, being that the God-given talent I have and the size that I have and the ability I have to play. So, you know, living up to my potential and, and really, you know, working towards each and every one of my goals. It's what he has in him. And if he can do that every day, that's gonna be something awesome to watch. Do you know how freaky this kid is? He played high school basketball. He was a running back in high school. On defense, they've used him everywhere in the front. Rich, he stands up at 347, plays the joker, rushes the A-gap, comes off the edge. David Shaw, who we do the draft with, loves this guy. He's competed against him. He said he's probably, he's got the ability to be the best 3-4 nose tackle or 4-3 nose tackle in football. Growing up in the, in the Tonga family, you learn a lot of things. Our culture is based off, you know, a lot of hard work and respect. And that's where I get most of my work ethic from. Seeing my parents growing up and uh, how hard they work, it just rubbed off on me. We didn't even get a chance to talk about you being a quarterback and a running back in high school, which must have been very frightening for the other children <laughs> who were playing on the other team. In high school, I was about in the 280 to 300 pound range. I played a little bit of running back and quarterback. <laughs> My running back career in high school, you know, it stayed faithful to me. Uh, I was able to do well in the, in the backfield, running the ball. Playing at the University of Washington would have to be one of the best experiences I've ever had. I didn't expect to do much. I went in only expecting to play football, but you know, I got way more out of it. I've gained uh, lifelong friends, uh, coaches that have uh, taught me a lot, especially Coach Peterson. He's taught us a lot about life, apart from football. Um, the fan, the support, and you know, the connections I've made, not only with everybody in the, in the football staff, but um, teachers as well. Coach Peterson taught me a lot, you know. He, he always said, how you do the small things is how you do everything. You know, um, how you prepare yourself. You know, being detailed in, very, in every aspect. And also not only being detailed on the field, but de being detailed off the field. So we'd always have, a fresh mindset to think off and basically simplify in our life. You know, you, you hear all these stories about the past and about all the players and what the Apple Cup means to them and how how the Apple Cup is not just a game. It's, it's basically a holiday in Washington. I knew it was going to be my last game at Husky Stadium, so and seeing all of our fans there cheering us on, supporting us, and also um, we stopped Washington State from going to the Pac-12 Championship. <laughs> you know, enough of that. We gotta enjoy the victory. We've got the Apple Cup again and bragging and rights for another year. He's a tremendous player. You talk about stuff that you can't coach, six foot five, 340 pounds. That's all coaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> six foot five, 340 pounds. Uh, you can't move them. You know, you're trying to get double teams and, and, and be able to get push up to the second level like everybody is. Um, and what happens is either he's able to make the play at the line of scrimmage by really you know, creating a stalemate and then ditching the guy at the last second and making a tackle, or it puts the linebackers in a great situation because those defensive linemen are not getting pushed into their face. I 
I can walk off the field knowing I did my job when I see my teammates around me making plays because I've been taking double teams for linebackers to come in and get, get a tackle. Uh, I like when my teammates and my brothers, you know, make the plays and we're all celebrating. You know, I feel like that's what football is all about, you know, playing for your teammates and being that it's a team sport. Uh, I was honestly trying to take two guys. Um, I was in there with one of the young guys. You know, I was trying to help him get a sack, you know, being, being the last game. So I was trying to take two so he can keep him uh, working one on one. I want to be remembered by the University of Washington as a player who gave everything he had. You know, someone who brought great energy on the field, in the locker room, in the meeting rooms, and in the weight room. I've done a lot of mentoring to uh, a lot of high schools and in Washington. I feel like I'm also a role model to the kids back in my community. I know there's a lot of kids right now as we speak that need help. And uh, I feel like I could be that, that open door for them uh, and that gateway to lead them in the right direction.